Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll look at end releases for frames. I will quickly draw two frames using the default frame properties. Then I'll select the ends and assign end restraints. In this case, I will assign fixed end restraints at both the ends of the frame. By default, this node at which the, both the frames connect will be fixed. And now I will run the model with the default dead, case, dead load case only. So that's a deformed shape of the frame. When you go to the results and frames, and when you select the moment 3 3, as you can see, uh, this particular end is also taking the moments. And the right hand side as well, it is also fixed. Now, during design, if you'd like to uh, provide a moment release at the end, uh, so what you can do is go to design and frame and then releases here you can choose the end release you want and if you look at the options there are start and end so we'll look at that now when we go to display options here we can um, select the local axis direction so now when you look at this uh, the red direction which shows the uh, local axis one and the arrow is pointed towards the end and the start is the other direction. Well, I'll select the frame and select end releases and choose the start end release for this frame. Now the left hand side is free and moment has been released. Now run the program. Now as you can see the bending moment attracted on the left hand side of the frame is zero and the right hand side still attracts a moment. Alternatively, I can choose the member and uh, choose the end releases here by right clicking as well. And here I can change the end stiffness instead of zero. They'll, now the frame will have a partial fixity. Now I will run the model and as you can see when you right click here, the left side end is taking some amount of bending moment, not zero. In addition, if I choose the member and apply a very large end uh, stiffness, so, and run the program again, As you can see, the left hand side has attracted more uh, moment uh, than the previous case. So the more the stiffness, the more moment the end will attract. Now we can choose the member and assign end releases by selecting any of these properties, not only really the bending moment. So in this case, I'll choose here to do in the total direction and rerun the program. <laughs> so. As you can see, the shear force is zero on the left side and the end is still attracting moment as we haven't assigned uh, zero for the bending side this time. So you can see the bending shear force is zero on the left side. So this would have been the shear force distribution if the left side end of shear force is not released. Thank you for joining today. That's all I have for today. Please like and subscribe for similar content in the future.